Hey, welcome to this week on Lake Erie Port of Call. Mike Jamison sitting at the dock today. A uh, nice, beautiful day. We haven't had a lot of them lately, and that's kind of curtailed us from getting out and getting some of the pictures and some of the videos that we wanted to do. But uh, uh, and, uh, this week's show, we'll uh, be talking to some of the uh, Commodores from uh, uh, Riverview Yacht Club, Toledo Yacht Club, uh, Toledo Sailing Club, and Maumee River Yacht Clubs. These gentlemen sat in with me, and uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the great ceremony that they had down at at uh, uh, Maumee River Yacht Club in Toledo Sailing for the uh, unveiling of the fleet, uh, the, the prayers and all of that good stuff. Plus, we'll uh, also be talking with Chris Hoover. And Chris is going to be uh, talking a little bit about uh, uh, setting up your VHF radio so that if something were to happen, you'll be all set with that. So stick around, be a good show. And one of these days, we're going to get this boat out on the water. I guarantee it. day out here but we're here at the uh, Toledo Sailing Club down here uh, off of Broadway and we've got some of the Commodores and past Commodores from some of the best uh, yacht clubs in this area right here and guys uh, you know I, I, I just want to say first of all thanks for spending some time with us here and I mean, you got your sarsaparillas and everything I'm not there yet Chris but we'll, <laughs> we'll get there here real soon but uh, we, we had a, you guys had a wonderful event that was uh, over the weekend here with the uh, the blessing of the fleet and uh, and everything that happened down here at Maumee River Yacht Club and Toledo Sailing Club. And guys, I want you to talk a little bit about the experience of being in a yacht club because one of the big things about boating this year is the fact there are so many new boaters and, and, and they want to know what the whole experience is all about. Well, I can uh, start with that because um, I'm fairly new to boating, believe it or not. Um, I bought my first boat in 2014 um, and um, I joined Maumee River Yacht Club. I didn't know anything about boats. I bought a 34 foot cruiser and had no idea what I was getting into. And thank God I joined a yacht club because I was surrounded by people that had knowledge, uh, that were willing to help, um, that jumped in my bilge when I needed help. and. You know, and I didn't, my learning curve was, I would call it an exponential learning curve. I mean, every day it seemed like I knew double what I knew the day before. And I couldn't thank goodness enough that I joined a yacht club because I think about it, then on my own, I would, after a year, said, oh, what did I get myself into? I'm done. Right, right, right. Well, the one thing when we were down here filming uh, your festivities that you had here, it's just the camaraderie and, the, and the, the amount of new friendships that you make and, and everybody. And then you're all dressed up real nice. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the way you, you, you got to think about the dress. No, but uh, seriously, and, and a lot of people have that, you know, that, that thought of, oh, man, that's a higher class than us. And this and no, folks, it really isn't. It's just a bunch of great people that get together, enjoy boating and enjoy the fact that they're all together. Uh, and, and here in Toledo, what we've got right down here, what we've got up at Bayview, what we've got all over this area, it's just unbelievable. Any Anything that you well, want to say? Yeah, I mean, actually, I mean, the clubs that are on the river, most people don't realize that they're right behind Walbridge Park here. I mean, we're almost into the city now, so we're not quite on the bay. You don't have to be in a yacht club and be out on the lake like Toledo Yacht Club is, or maybe Bayview Yacht Club is, or Harborview Yacht Club. We're right here down behind Walbridge Park. It's an easy place to get to. And me as Commodore this year, similar situation as Chris's. Uh, I've been in boating all my life with a single outboard and never had my a real boat until uh, this Sunday when I put my boat in the water, had some ignition problems. I had some water problems. I was able to make some phone calls, some fellow members, and they were able to actually get me hooked up and got me started and got me on the lake again and brought my boat back to the dock today. 
Well, I, I got to tell you, uh, Mr. Baylog, you're right down the street from me. I'm over at Harrison's, and uh, and I, I have to tell you right now, uh, uh, Bruce Saba, we went in and had a dinner there uh, just about a week, week and a half ago. I mean, I'm in the water, but I, I'm putting new gauges, all new gauges in. So in other words, I don't have temperature gauges yet, so there's no way I'm two big blocks. I'm not starting them. I'm just <laughs> not going to do it. But I have to tell you, the, the food was phenomenal down there. But this weekend was kind of crazy with the water that you had down there. What are some of the improvements they're doing down at Toledo Yacht Club? Well, we put up the floodgate. <laughs> so that's a rec that was a record record buy. Right. Once every in. 25 years. Yeah, 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 that's what they're saying. We, were, we knew it was coming. It came in quick. You, know, you almost had to hear it coming in. Sure. It came in so quick. I think Dave, you'll, you'll attest to that. I mean, it, 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 right now, I was there at 8 o'clock in the morning, took my commoners up to uh, Detroit to get their uniform set up. Mm -hmm. We left at 8 o'clock, came back at 11. We were, they were walking oh. the water up to over their knees just to get back to the Yacht Club. So it, it, it came in really quick. But and you've got a lot of people to help. We, we have, That's the we've real good thing. Membership. Everybody helps. And everybody helps. Uh, and we had a lot of logs that come in. They had to move them so the boats could get in and out. Yeah. But um, yeah, we got a we got a, a crack team of members that really want to pitch in and deck all hands on deck. Now, now, Dave, you're down at Bayview and uh, everything. Now, see, I have to make my decision now because I've been in boating for quite a few years now. And as Pete Maxwell sitting over there looking at me, he's got that look on his face like you don't have a decision to make. <laughs> but, but I think you're really looking at trying to get these young boaters in there. And, and the young boaters that, you know, want to take care of their boats, they want they make quite an investment on what they have because you've got a beautiful area over there. It is, and it's great. We share the same lagoon as uh, Toledo Yacht Club. Um, and again, it's, it's getting past that stigma of, you know, it's very expensive to belong to a yacht club. Yeah. Um, like you're over at Harrison's, and I think everybody here is going to try and talk you into joining the yacht club. Um, <laughs> ah, you got me already. Just buy me a Tito's every once you know, in a while. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, and, and that's, I've been in boating ever since uh, I was a kid. Uh, my stepdad was a lake freight lake freighter captain oh, wow. for over 40 years um, and my wife and I bought a boat before we even got married so um, we've been boating pretty much all my life and you know it, it is a it's it's exciting uh, it's it's great and the yacht clubs um, again it's that stigma that you know oh they're hoity-toity you right, know right. all this but you know it's it's very inexpensive if you do the research and you come and visit some of these beautiful clubs exactly. on the water, exactly. um, it's not as expensive as you think it is. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of these other marinas. But you get that friendship. And when people do come to the yacht clubs, the reason they left the marinas is because they wanted to get into a boating community and, and get with people. Because you go at a uh, marina, you go boating by yourself. We go boating as a club. We have cluster club cruises. You know, yeah. we all get together. Sure. We follow each other. We all. The biggest thing we do is we sponsor and push safe boating, which you know, when you boat as a group, it's you know, you always have somebody there looking after you. Uh, you have a breakdown, you'll have five or six boats stop, help you, get you where you're going. Um, it's it's the community. It's it's we also, as the clubs, we support. The neighborhoods in that you know we do fundraisers we do fundraisers for all kinds of different charities so I mean there's more things that we do than just boat too well I, I it's just so fun being around all you guys and you know I started this boat show five six years ago it ain't about making money I you know I got to be a Harrison takes very good care of me with a nice dock and I said you know I'm good right. at that point I'm good but there's just so much about the, 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 the sport itself and, and just being what it is. Pete, I wanted to ask you a little bit about, you know, you being a Commodore and you looking like Mel Steubing, Meryl Steubing when you, doesn't he? Doesn't he? The love boat. Yeah, exactly. That's I mean, not yeah. the first I've been told that. <laughs> Unfortunately, he just passed away, but. Uh, 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 talk a little bit about the festivities and what all, uh, what all you guys did and, and it, it was just, 
it was almost like being at the Kentucky Derby or something. It was just really a cool thing. And, and what, what is it all about? And what do you guys do with uh, having such a nice event? Are you talking last week then? Obviously. Oh, yeah, last weekend. Well, certainly. the first thing, we get together for meetings. We have carryover money from the previous South people. South, and we have this party called the South of the Border. Taco, margarita, beans. Good DJ Musical someday, fruit, good joking. DJ. Uh, <laughs> but we had a very nice... Uh, south of the border and party and the, this year it was down to Bayview so this whole thing swaps ends okay so like next year the south of the border party will either be here or Maumee River okay and then next year the opening of the port will be either at Toledo Yacht Club or Bayview Yacht Club so it's gotcha. a it's a flip-flop and uh, it, everything went very well other than we could have the boat parade but the winds were so bad, but you had a lot of people down here, though. And yeah, it was a lot of people. It was a good, nice part. Yes, great turnout. Over two hundred. We were supposed to have a flyover that was canceled as well, um, but we do ha we did have the bagpipers, Very cool. and uh, black swamp rowers. Black swamp rowers, a high school rowing team that they weren't rowing, were they? No, they had their oars. <laughs> they were saluting. <laughs> they they yeah. were saluting it us was, with their oars. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Correct cool. you. That's where I know you'll always be What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244-LEAKC Gate. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Join Pete's. See the look on his face already. See, he's like, you've only known me 40 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it so you grew up in East Side. That's where I'm from. So oh, yeah. so you're a Baylock. I should have known that. Yeah, yeah. So you're a St. Stephen's Baylock. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cool. Well, I'm a St. Michael's Byzantine Catholic. Yeah, Jay. Bama Vasco. I knew the Vasco name. Yep, yep. So see. Ooh, guy, I'll pee. Oh, I don't know. Babe, you. I'm, oh, my God. I come down here to Mommy River. See, if I come down here to Mommy River, you'll make me work all the time. I'll be DJ. Oh, all the yeah. Time. You'll true. have me DJ yeah. all the time. You know? I'll be up in that pool every weekend. No, you don't want to see me at the pool. No, you're going to see Jane on the pool. No, it ain't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't shave, I didn't shave my chest for that. Like, no, but seriously, guys, Jimmy, you got anything going on at uh, the Yacht Club coming well, we got, up? We have the Mills Race coming up the week after next or the next week. Uh, okay. The 10th, we have a party on Thursday night, and the Mills Race starts at 5 o'clock on Friday night. They race all night and end up put in bay. Live entertainment like two, three nights a week. We, in there we too. have live entertainment on Thursday night and on the island. We have we have a ditch jockey coming in from Columbus, uh, and we have Probably 100, second best. 100, 110, 110 uh, boats have already registered for oh, the race. Oh wow! So it'll wow. be a good race over there. So 
Fantastic. Well, I'm coming over for dinner here in the next week. You know, Mr. Saba is one of my dearest friends. I love him to death. We're going to do a segment on the show with him. Great. And uh, coming up real soon. Chris, you guys, what's going on down at Maumee River? All kinds are going on. Every two weeks we have Sunday Fun Day that happens with live entertainment at our pool. Uh, we have Friday, the fourth Fridays of each month, we have music on our deck for our dinner. We have dinner service throughout the week. Uh, we have a full staff. Uh, so we won't run a little bit different than that, but also this weekend I have to go to a cocktail party at Point Place's Regatta oh, in yeah, the afternoon, nice and then I yep. drive up to Gros Seal for their ball in the evening. Wow. <laughs> wow, you guys are busy. Pete, what's up, man? Well, we're the second homecoming regatta coming up. Uh-huh. Father's Day weekend, June 18th and 19th. Uh, Friday night is called the $1.98 Beauty yeah, I gotta be, see. I wanted to host that. Uh, I know you got guys. Well, I know a guy too. So I'm just saying. Just saying. we will have a tent down below. And there will be no be, video. Yeah. There'll be no yeah. video. Yeah. You're not invited. Uh, oh, man. Uh, so what contestant are you? Uh, uh, not this year. <laughs> so that is an awesome night. Yeah. We'll have buses coming in from oh, Ford wow. Yacht Club, Elba Mar. We'll have people come. One by land, two by sea, you know, all that kind of stuff. Alone again here, yes, maybe. Alone again, okay. probably your boat probably Alone here. Again, here. And right, then yeah. Saturday night, we had a band here Saturday evening, East River Drive. Been a, they've been around a oh, quite, quite some time. Great band. Uh, we have our cocktail party, of course, and we got my friend Johnny Rodriguez. We plan on the deck during the cocktail hours, 2 to 5.30, I believe. So uh, we're scrambling, scrambling to get that wrapped up because my head's spinning with this south of the border now i've got that behind me <laughs> oh, that's good dave what you got going on at bayview well um of course i'll be a part of all these uh regattas <laughs> that are coming down here early early this year um uh, we do have our regatta ours is in august um 20 20 and 21st um and we are having uh, mustang sally which plays oh over, they're a great band plays too. over Putting Bay all the time, oh, yeah. and uh, that's on Friday. And on Saturday, we're going to have the legends that are going to be playing there. Uh, we've got a five club poker run coming up. We've got a trip going to Kelly's. We got a trip to Cedar Point. I mean, we've got a lot Fantastic. going on to Mommy Bay State Park. Folks, State I, Park. So I tell you, I, I can't even tell you how much history in boating is sitting here right now. <laughs> and seriously, and I mean, we laugh, and that's one of the big best things about boating we all laugh but the, the history of what's going on in the Toledo area and you can sit with these guys and have a beer and talk and learn things about what's happened in the in this area and it's just really a good fun time gee Chris you have something quick you want to say oh, I was, now I don't know what's going yeah. to be <laughs> <laughs> no I was gonna say, oh I know what I was gonna say is that we're talking about these events that they go to uh, in August, we are getting together with Toledo Sailing Club. We're joining forces and going out to Kelly's Island as a group. Uh -oh. So we'll have about we call 15, it a rendezvous. To, Very 15 good. to 20 boats out there sitting on the wall at the Sea Marina. Yeah. And don't you every weekend at but, the pool have a Tootsie Roll dive? <laughs> Oh, isn't that yeah. Yeah. Is of that course a big, you would know isn't about that. Isn't that a big event? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's the only one where you bring the preschool kids I kept kids this down. good for about eight minutes. I kept it good for eight minutes. And then we just fell off the wall. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, I look forward to bringing the cameras out to all your events and, uh, and, and working with you over the next few years. And uh, I, I just really dig what you guys are doing. And you're all good people. And just kind of shows you all of the great things that can happen in boating here in the Toledo area, Northwestern Ohio and Southeastern Michigan. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genau Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genau Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genau Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genau Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Well, folks, here with uh, Captain Chris. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Yeah, it's good know, to see you. I, I figured I'd let you relax a little bit. You know, we spent a lot of time down here in the docks, and we were just talking with Bill over here at uh, Harrison at uh, Brenner 75, and 
they're looking at the fact that uh, they're going to pretty much be booked up here, and that's incredible. I'm hearing that a lot, and you know, even in Cleveland area, I'm hearing you can't get a dock in the Cleveland area. Yeah, it's Fort nice. Clinton, I'm hearing the same thing. A lot of new boaters coming in. And we had a rough weekend uh, last weekend. That's, uh, you know, everything we had planned basically for the show we couldn't do because the weather was so bad and everybody was underwater. You got boats up in Port Clinton. I do. It was ugly. Bad. It was really bad. Uh, docks break in, a lot of boat damage. Luckily, mine were okay. But that goes back into planning for something sure. like that. And, and are that's... You, are you floating or are you... Floating. You yep. are. Well, there's... That's so, that's, well, I take that back. One of them is, one of them isn't. Okay. So uh, the one I'm trying to sell, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah so it's, it's, it's a constant you know you gotta double double line sometimes and be ready for it and right, right. Uh, plan for the worst and a lot of people couldn't even get to their boats because no. the, water, the water was so and hot. that was almost in fact the road was closed where i was uh -huh. and it was almost a blessing in one way because i would have gone up there and been very nervous and trying to do all this stuff in this wind getting sure. blown off and uh it's just you just have to trust what you did and well, one of the things that, I, you know, what I wanted to talk to you about uh, was the fact that, uh, you know, we bought a brand new uh, VHF radio, sure. for, you know, and it's one of the store brands. It's a, just a nice radio. And, uh, and when I bought it and got it all set up, they never had anything that was the uh, MS, what is it? MMSI number. Right. Yep. Never had anything like that before. And it, as a side note, I found all of my old boating, my hailer, I found my radio and everything from my old boat back in, the, <laughs> back in 88, 87. Isn't that just like, right? And now it was white, it's dark yellow now, it's sitting up in my <laughs> attic for so long. But so we got it all installed, everything's working, everything works good with it. But uh, I, I didn't know, you know, what I had to do for that boat, for that radio mm -hmm. so that if something were to happen because they now have the technology you know when you call a coast guard or whatever and you hit the red button which is the emergency mm -hmm. they uh you're you're able to uh you're actually able to uh they pinpoint where you're at you know and that's the great thing about it um if you register it and if you do it to the full capabilities they will know all your information uh you push this button uh -huh. uh, they find out who you are what boat is who the contact uh, all this different stuff if we set it up right and get it all set. Exactly. Um, so if for some reason that you're not able to call a mayday and you're not able to talk on the radio or something happens to you, God forbid, but your guest on board right. is freaking out, they can literally push that. Now, the Coast Guard's gonna call. They're gonna get a hold of you in one way or another and figure out what's going on. But the gotcha. main purpose is, is they can know exactly who you are, what they're looking for, and if you have it, a uh, radio that has the GPS built in or you have it connected to your GPS, they will figure out your latitude and longitude also. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. And it's not a very difficult thing. This is something that, this is one of the things that you do for people. I know you're so busy right now with all of these new boaters out there and uh, mm -hmm. it, it's an you know, everyday thing with you now. Uh, but you're able to help them set that up and mm -hmm. get that all put together for them then too. Yeah, and basically, you know, that you start- Oh, and me too. Right, yeah, <laughs> you, you start off by going either Boat US, you can go to uh, the United States Power Squadron. Uh, I think you went to Boat US, yep. and you just go there, go cool. online, and you know, Google the MMSI number information, and what it is is a form that you fill out, right? Yep. And it asks you all your information, all your boat's information. It's gonna wanna know Next your- of kin Yep, and all of OH that. number, all this different stuff, the color and all this different things. And then they will issue a number. And so when you get that number, uh, I think it's like a nine digit number or something yep, like yep. that. You will go to your radio and each manufacturer radio is a little different. So right. you might want to look it up or go through the menu and it will actually ask you, okay, uh, enter MMSI number and you put it in. Now be careful when you put that in because I think you get one chance uh -huh. to put it in. <laughs> gotcha. And if it gets screwed up, then you have to go back and, and, and go through this whole process and everything else. So be gotcha. very careful. It does ask you to put it in twice. And so you just put it in and just be very careful with it. And basically so. everything that you're doing with that is, and it's all self, self-explanatory. Self I mean, it's very easy for it you is. to do, but so you can help people out doing that. Not to mention, you know, next week, you know, I'm going to get you out on the boat. Good. We're going to do some. Boat I'm boat. happier on the water. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> but it's just been real. You just got to be very careful out there. Number one, the amount of new boaters out there. Oh. Uh, you know, we were just talking with uh, Billy Aiken yep. over here at uh, Burner 75 that it's amazing. It's, are you happy I said that right? Yeah. You, you we, see, we get a commission yeah, every time we say his name. That. Bill Aiken, Pier 75. Yes, yes, amazing. So good. But there's so <laughs> many new boaters out there. And, uh, and, and your job now is to teach these new boaters how to do it. It's well worth the money. And it's definitely something you want to do. It is. And, you know, again, <clears throat> I 
can modify it to whatever your level is. Sure. So whatever, uh, how you work with people, husband and wife, all this different stuff, the family, how can the kids get involved, um, the different styles of boats, uh, and, and the type of boating you're doing. All right. Um, and so that's where, I, you know, I'm a teacher by trade, uh, and I, I've been on a boat forever and love it. So when you put those two together, bingo. It, it's bingo. And um, I adjust to whatever I'm teaching, so I can't say I teach the same way to you as I do with Bill or to someone else. Uh, oh, we, you don't teach Bill anything. No, no, no he's, he's great. Man. Yes. He's a man. One thing I want you to do for me is I'm going to, I want to put some things here on my dock so that I can just, oh yeah, you know, like what we did before yes. last year, so that when my people that are on the boat with me, when they just unhook reach the over. line, they just hook it right up there. And that's number one thing, is getting your dock set up. And yeah. so many people go on the boat, they don't think about that. Right. Have the lines that stay on your dock, have them set. Put a hook out on the post so you can reach them. We were just talking, I was doing a lesson just before you over uh, on uh -huh. a couple of piers over. And we were talking about that. Uh, they do have these hooks that reach out. So whoever's on the bow, you're not reaching out. You're not jumping out. And what I, when I see people jumping off a boat and yeah, the boat's not exactly. tied up yet, Okay, that might be good the first couple times, but that's not going to be good later on. Uh, I don't like to see people standing on the bow. You know, I like them sitting down. And so you can easily, everything should be nice and easy, nice and easy, no panic. I'm not saying you're not going to be nervous, but no panic, nice and easy. And again, if something doesn't go right the first time, you just reverse back out. You just bail and do it again. There's yeah. nothing wrong with taking three times to dock a boat. That's why I have this show, folks, because of guys like him that are going to teach us all something good. Yeah, and I'm, you know, let's get on your boat one of these days and let's let's run through this things. But you know, something else you talked about safety in, in new boats. Watch out for the things floating out in this oh, river right now, especially right now. after that storm and everything else. I mean, we have three logs just right in here that we had to watch when I was moving a boat for someone. And um, watch, be careful, go at a speed that you're comfortable with. Right. Make sure that things are run. I was working on the nerd boat the other day. The, sh the gear shift was too hard. I had to take two hands to do that, and that's not a good situation. It's not a good sign. Well, thank you. Like hey. always, like always, the man knows what he's doing. You know, I, I got some pretty good people around me now. You really do. You have and some good people. They all know I'm not really a good boater, but the one thing I've learned over the years that I've been b b slow and steady. Yes. Slow. Nice, nice and easy. easy. Take a deep breath. Know your boat. Know what your boat's going to do, and you have to picture 30 seconds ahead of what is this boat going to do from here to there. And you got to, you know, some people say, "Well, my boat drifts when the wind." Well, it's not a, it's not a handicap. You right. just got to right. learn your boat and understand. It's like driving a big truck versus something else in the ice. Well, there you, you go. know, it, you you have to understand what is it going to do when you hit an ice patch and get used to it. Gotcha. So. Now that's what I call a boating show, right there. You it's got a great to see all show. the commodores. You got to see the captain and yeah. Neil. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you know, I'm so happy that Bill Aiken introduced us. Wow. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Yeah. It so. It's worked out well. It's worked out well. I feel I'm in the presence of you know the royalty of this show. That's awesome. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. We're so far over time, folks. We got to go. God love you all. We'll see you next week. Right. We're going to get out on the boat. And uh, Bill's going to take us out on a fast boat. He promised me he's going to take me out on a fast boat. He, said he didn't say I was coming back. But uh, Wow. But, yeah, we have some great parties down here at uh, Brenner 75. They do it right. And uh, we're, we're, we're bringing the drone down here. Oh, nice. I finally got the guts to take that thing up. So we're going to get some nice shots with the drone. So, folks, hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next week right here on uh, Lake Erie Port-A-Call.